Good afternoon. We are here at First Watch, um, getting some local food before we um, head to the biosphere, and then hopefully a fun hike. successful brunch, lunch, whatever it was. I ate my pancakes like a shark and they're gone. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just eat two. I ate all of them. And I got a little roadie coffee to go. So here we go, headed to the biosphere. I hope it's everything I ever can dream of. I, so I just really don't know how to describe it. So I think it'll be best described when we get there in video format. And actually see what it is. We have made it to the biosphere. Two. We don't know where number one is. My guess is it's on Mars. It turns out that biosphere one is actually not on Mars like I thought it would be. It's actually the Earth. So this is biosphere two, which represents the Earth. Okay, so we got our tickets and the lady told us that it's gonna be about a mile walk mile and, and mile and a half walk and a hundred and fifty stairs scattered throughout. I don't know if I can make it. Apparently you can live no, I don't think you can live. You can visit, you can come visit here and live in these fun little lodges. What are they? Miniature the shower caps. <laughs> For your headphones. Yeah, perfect. Welcome to Biosphere 2. What's cool right now is that we just came out of a really humid environment and now we're in this like cooler environment. I guess it's the ocean, which makes sense. It's cool to feel the difference in the biospheres. Loving this! Biosphere was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. it kind of is like the Hunger Games though. The studies. Like there were people that lived in it for two years in this like controlled environment with like a control room and everything. Kind of, kind of crazy. Apparently socially it kind of fell apart. Which, <laughs> I don't really know the details on that but it sounds interesting. Yeah. It's really, it's really cool to, um, hear of all the projects that they're doing for like just the ecosystems on earth and the environmental stuff. It's very cool, very cool. Like hydroponics and um, the solar and mirror power. Super interesting, really fun. And it seems like it's ever evolving like as they come up with new projects. One more reason to love Tucson is they have wildlife bridges. I don't know if they have multiple, but there's one right here. and. It's so that the wildlife can cross the, um, is this a freeway? It's a highway. highway. The highway and not get hurt. That's the best thing ever. It's a gorgeous day outside, so we wanted to spend a good portion of it outside, and we're gonna finish it out with a nice run.
run's finished too. It was a bit warm. We're thirsty now. Trying to do it to the music, to the beat. 